Sometimes precision counts. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain how you can make your Z-axis much happier. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this model I created with you guys. As I've mentioned in prior videos, I've purchased a number of Ender 3s to update my printer farm in my shop. And with that, I'm uh, you know doing a lot with direct extrusion now I'm being a little bit cheap about this because I don't want to spend the money on all these to put an additional z-axis to support the weight of the uh, direct extruder which is you know really riding back and forth across the gantry so what I want to do is provide a little bit more support for the z-axis but I don't want it to bind up and I want to make sure I get it aligned as close as possible as I can now to do that there are a number of z-axis support models out there however all the ones that I've seen are fixed in design well I wanted a adjustable model and so I turned it to Fusion 360 and I designed this guy up so kind of a long story short this piece mounts to your 2040 and then what I'm using is a couple bed springs I'll have links to these below just the same springs that the bed uses and uh, they go in here then I'm using a uh, 6088ZZ bearing to go in here and then uh, a couple M M3s 25 millimeters long to cinch these two together to adjust the offset uh, for that now one of the things this one I designed these for the cap heads I'm gonna make this a little bit uh, bigger probably in the model I put out there for the button heads but the cap heads are preferred in the cinching so let's go ahead put this all together put it on the printer and uh, we'll talk about it so here I've assembled the unit so you can see what it looks like put together so obviously the z-axis passes through here and it's kind of suspended by this bearing now obviously you have to put this piece on first then put this top piece on but I'm doing some overlays so I printed a number of these because I'm adding them to all my Ender 3's that I purchased so this is far from the first one so it took me a little bit to kind of get the design to where I like it now one of the pieces I have modeled the threads into this piece and you have really two options you can use the model threads or you can use uh, heated inserts to go in there your preference I'll have links to all that down below now the idea behind these springs really isn't to allow movement however to allow adjustability because one of the things that I found in using the a lot of the fixed versions out there is it, it some of them would actually bind up um, my z-axis because it might have been right for the person who designed it but it wasn't right for mine so this allows adjustability by adjusting both of these screws now again you want to keep this kind of together and also safety warning these you know have now become spring loaded so these can become projectiles so if you really want to be safe my suggestion is use the inserts inserted from the back side so they're pulling through now I've been using these for a while haven't really had an issue with threads they hold well however when you print them you want to make sure you have enough shells to uh, handle the threads so actually around each one of these there's 1.2 millimeters of solid material on each side and obviously all the way around so it's got you know a lot of real plastic to grip into now it's not a huge amount of pressure but you know one of these can come launching out of here so again safety first so with that I thought this was a pretty cool design it'll be out on Thingiverse and a couple other sites as I get time so if you want to grab this go out and grab it if you do a make please post it if you have other suggestions I'm open to hearing it so again swag shop big thumbs up subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video cheers guys please click like below and subscribe to the channel